Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the SK Hynix. This is their Platinum P41 SSD. They did send me the sample, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. This is a two terabyte PCIe 4.0, so a Gen 4 NVMe M.2 drive. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Inside you'll find two pieces of product literature and the drive itself. Take a look at the drive right here. Everything looks great. Flip it over to the back side. We have some additional product info. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed and try it out. First up, we have it installed in our PlayStation 5. It fits great and then you can go ahead and use the default cover again and put everything back together. Or maybe you wanna check out the SK Hynix Hishi H01 heatsink design specifically for the PlayStation 5. Look at this bad boy right here. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Design to fit right in and we can use that instead with our drive. So just a nice option to consider depending on what you're in the market for. But now let's go ahead, let's put this back together and check out the drive in our PS5. PlayStation 5's booted up. We have the drive installed. We're prompted to format it right here. We can go ahead and conduct that format. This goes by super quickly. So we're already at 50% and then boom, it's already done. And we get a nice break out here showing us the read speed. 6,500 megabytes per second. So that's pretty fantastic there. Then we'll select OK, and it shows us that everything has been formatted, and we can hit OK again. And now looking at the storage settings on the PlayStation 5, let's go right there. You'll see our M.2 SSD storage, and sure enough, two terabytes of free and usable space. If you ever need to reformat it, you can conduct that right here again within the storage settings. All right, so the drive's been installed on our test bench right here. For those wondering, this is a Gen 4 slot. And within Windows, once we initialize the drive, we're showing 1.81 terabytes of free space. Let's talk about performance. So the brand advertises 7,000 megabytes per second for read speeds and 6,500 megabytes per second for write speeds. What do we get in the real world using common and free benchmarking applications? Well, let's dive right in. First we'll talk about Nova Bench. We'll be comparing the P41 and its results to just the average database that we've built up of all the Gen 4 drives that we've tested. So first up, we're showing a score of 2697 compared to the average of 2559. So it's great to see that we're performing faster than your average Gen 4 drive. With these results, the higher, the better, the higher, the faster, however you want to phrase that. Next, looking at Nova Bench write speeds, we got a score of 6108 compared to 5573. So again, we're performing better than the average. Same can be said for Crystal Dismark and its read speed, 7129 compared to 6713 on average. Write follows a similar pattern there too, 6746 compared to 6275. Moving right along to ASSSD, you'll see that we scored a little bit below the average at 4790 compared to 5060. But looking at ASSSD write speeds, we scored higher than the average at 5119 compared to 5028. And last but not least, we can't forget about Black Magic. So we got a read score on average of 5524 for the P41 compared to 4996 for your typical Gen 4 drive. And same story for the Black Magic write speeds. P41 got a score of 5746 compared to the average of 5000 Five. Another metric we like to look at is cost per gigabyte. This is measured in dollars. It's a great way to try to find some equalization between all the different storage capacity options available with the drives that we're testing to try to get them on near level playing field. Now, keep in mind, typically those larger capacity drives are gonna cost more money, but on a per gigabyte basis, that tends to drive the cost down. So just take everything with a grain of salt, but it's nice to see that we're averaging about seven cents per gigabyte with this drive, and the typical average is eight cents. So. That's just letting us know that the value is there. It's not really any more expensive or overpriced. 
And in regards to a deal, technically you're saving about a penny per gigabyte. Lastly, let's talk about warranty. This is measured in years. The P41 has a five year warranty where the overall average for a drive like this is typically 4.4 years. You see a lot of four and five year warranties on the market today. So technically we get about an extra half a years of coverage and protection with this drive. So if that's important to you, you know that you're buying with slightly better standards in the industry in coverage and protection. So after using our SK Hynix P41 drive, let me share with you my final thoughts. From all the data and metrics that we looked at, it's clear to see that this drive is above average in its performance for Gen 4 drives. And in regards to its value, you're saving on average about one penny per gigabyte. So take that for what it is, find the capacity that works for you, pick up a heat sink or not, depending on your motherboard and your needs, and enjoy having that added space in your computer or console.